just wanted to offer my congratulations. Well, I wasn't aware that I had any fun. Well, you're too modest. You know, you did a splendid job of driving a wedge in between Donnelly and Monica. They never knew what hit them. So why do I feel so much like a failure then? Well, you're just suffering pangs of conscience or some such nonsense. Forget about it. You know, love is temporary at best. Money is forever. Well, you incurable romantic, you. Look, I'm going to tell you the same thing that I told Jimmy Lee. This is my last performance for the Quartermain Clan, and if you want anybody else to do any of your dirty business, you're going to have to find somebody else to do it. No, don't get on your high horse with me, young lady. You're not above a bit of wallowing in it yourself when it suits your purpose. My personal life was not part of our agreement. It was precisely our agreement. Now, listen. For your own good, don't even think of telling Donnelly the truth. You'll just lose him and my money. And you're going to drive him right back into Monica's arms. Yes? I uh, hope I'm not interrupting. Would it matter if you were? Probably not, given the uh, importance of my visit. I hear about your proposition. Have you thought it over? Some. And? I don't like the setup, Edward. What's not to like? I'm offering to free you of any uh, fraud charges in exchange for your returning the Quartermain fortune. <laughs> you know, you're lucky to get such a deal. What do you mean I'm lucky to get such a deal? How do I know that you're able to deliver? Trust me. <laughs> well, I suppose that is a bit much to ask under the circumstances. All right, I'll let you in on a little secret. I'm in possession of the ultimate piece of evidence that will prove your innocence in this matter beyond a shadow of a doubt, should I decide to make it known. What is it? I'm not about to uh, divulge the nature of that information. I'll play the trump card if and only if you cooperate with me and give me my way. Oh, that's good. So you just expect me to sit back and put myself in your hands, is that it? You could do a hell of a lot worse. You know, think about it. But don't think too long. Your uh, preliminary hearing is coming up very shortly, so you don't have much time to waste. I want your answer, Donnelly, and I want it fast. Well, Edward. <laughs> Tiffany Hill. What a delightful surprise. Well, what are you doing here? Oh, just talking a little shop with her old friend, Donnelly. You know, Tiffany Hill is one of the best businesswomen I've ever known. She can smell a hot deal a mile away. Isn't that right, Tiffany? Oh, well, I learned it all from watching you, Edward. <laughs> well, I'm always happy to pass along a good tip. You both do well to profit from my latest one. Goodbye. May I come in? No, of course you can come in. I'm glad you're here because I think I need your help. What's the problem? It looks like I may be going back to jail. That's all the pieces are falling into place, and every finger is pointing right at me. Oh, Sean, you must be a wreck. You know, I've been under the gun before, Tiffany, but I've never felt so helpless before. So it's as if I'm on a, on a merry-go-round that's spinning out of control. Well, Sean, maybe everything is not really as bad as you're imagining. Oh, that's great. You know, you're beginning to sound just like Edward Quartermain. What is it? Everybody knows something that I don't. And why haven't I heard from, 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 from Monica? I mean, she really can't be that upset with me now, can she? No. Oh, she knows my preliminary hearing is next week. What is she going to do? Throw me to the wolves, too? I don't know what she's going to do. Tiff, look. I want to try something. I want to try the WSB question and answer technique. I mean, you probably tried it with Robert from time to time, right? Yeah, yeah, I did. But look, Robert is much better at this. And you'd rather do it with him. No, no, no. Robert has problems of his own. And outside of Robert, you're the only one I can really trust. Are you with me? You know I am. All right, sit down. Okay. Let's run this thing down here. Okay, now what? What have the police really got against me? We have a man who was killed in a plane crash. Foul play is suspected. I am allegedly having an affair with his wife at the Allegedly? Time. All right, and, and, and pottery fragments along with a chemical substance are found in the fuel tank of that plane which causes it to crash. Now, these pieces of evidence ultimately are linked to me. And then a letter surfaces from the, from the deceased, which implicates me in his murder. 
other various bits of evidence that are inadmissible in court, purely circumstantial, but they solidify the case against me. Now, how do you see that? Well, you appear to be guilty of murder, sir. Guilty of murder. Appear to be guilty of murder. Appear. Now, that is the key word here. Now, I know I did not kill Alan. I also know that, that Monica couldn't have... Monica, she couldn't have had anything to do with it. So it has to be a suicide. But one of a highly unusual nature because Alan is more interested in ruining Monica and me than doing away with him. So. Oh, please, stop all this. Just stop all this. I can't stand to say this. You, you're going through torture with No, no, no. no. Can't stop. you see the master plan here? I mean, this thing. You do? Yes. Alan kills himself with the full intention of having it look like murder. What better way to punish us? I imagine that's exactly what Alan was thinking. Okay, now, the only thing that really bothers me is... How can Edward be so sure that he can get me off of a murder charge? I mean, what is this top secret evidence that he's, that he's uncovered? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, what could it possibly be, Sean? Well, maybe we could put our minds together and figure this whole thing out. No, I tell you, what, what you need to do is you just need to get your mind off of this and get it off, off of your troubles. Oh, come on. I, I'd be no, serious. No, I, I'm serious. I, there is no this. chance of that. Get yourself out of this stuffy office. Come on, go with a stroll down on the waterfront with me. It will clear your mind. You can think better, okay? Let's just get out of here. Well, Mr. Donnelly, so much for a leisurely stroll. Take your mind off the problem. <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. I, I guess I'm just not very good company. Well, maybe it's time you cut and run. <laughs> what, leave town? Well, hardly. I I was just wondering if you haven't played this little particular game long enough. Why don't you just simply give in to Edward's demands? What, and give him back the money? It is his money. Oh, come on. What about my freedom? Well, you're just going to have to trust Edward that he's not going to be able to Trust Edward Quarter? I admit it sounds oh, a little... Oh, come on. Tiffany, how can you stand there and even suggest something like that? I wouldn't if I thought you had an alternative. Look, there is no one I can trust to prove that I didn't kill Alan Quartermain. The stakes are much too high, and the only one that's going to pay that price is me with my life. Well, maybe if you... Maybe if you worked with Edward... What do you mean? I don't need Edward Quartermain. I mean, damn it, Tiffany, I used to be... The head of the most prestigious and most elite secret service agency in the world. And here I am, a former WSB chief, and I can't even prove I'm innocent of a crime I didn't commit. Well, what is it that I have always heard about people who have been set up? They are invariably the last person to see the frame. No, I can see the frame very, very clearly. I just can't find any cracks in it. That's well, it's all. all the more reason to let Edward help you. Look. Help in what way? Accept, accept his terms? Whatever keeps you out of jail. Your freedom is far more important than your pride. Oh, come on, Sean. I have enough money for both of us. Oh, no, no. I cannot live that way. What way? I mean, being a kept man, I just can't... Oh, Sean, come on. Don't be ridiculous. No, no. I have always gone my own way. I'm not trying to, to tie you down. I'm trying to free you. Can't you get it through that thick head of yours? I love you. I know that, baby. I know that. I know it. But if I don't... If I don't respect myself, then I can't respect you and I can't respect anyone else. I have never taken a hand out on my life. I'm not offering you charity. It amounts to the same thing. No, I can't do it. I'm sorry. Look, I... Back to the office and try and figure this thing out on my own, okay? I, as I said before, I'm, I'm just rotten company today, huh?